Russ, that's pre-season done. What are your overall thoughts? Um, really pleased, actually. Really pleased. Um, like always, it's not always about results. Uh, we've come up against a blend of um, opposition, 4G, the weather. Um, step threes, step twos, under 21s, different styles of play. And uh, yeah, we've, we've come through it well. You know, there's not many injuries like you saw. Reese McNally was come on today, so that's a full, clean bill of health we've got now. So um, that's the main, that's the main pluses. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, what are the, are the main positives to obviously uh, relatively good uh, fit, fitness level? Yeah, yeah. L listen, I think you can win all pre-season games. You can win all six of them. Lose four players, and then it becomes a disaster. Uh, we just got to be ready for next week. Um, we're coming off the back of nine wins on the bounce in competitive football, um, so the vibe around the club is excellent, and we want to keep that going. So, um, listen, just like I said, I want to thank Telford for the hospitality today. The pitch was amazing. We didn't quite get the perks of that today from our performance, but we move on. Yeah, a bit of a slog, but I suppose you'll forget about that if you get three points next week. Yeah, yeah, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking after people um, going into next week. That's that's, that's the business end and um, give, give players opportunities, give players minutes that need topping up because um, we're doing a lot of work on the training ground. So we're um, really looking forward to next week where the um, when you earn your coin. Yeah, it's, it's a new division, but you mentioned kind of that, that nine, the nine wins at the end of last season. Do you feel some of that momentum still in the building? Well, it is in the building because season ticket sales, the way the place looks, the energy that we've got um, coming through the players and, and, and the club. So um, next Saturday is going to be absolutely bouncing, and we've got to give, we've got to keep building that momentum going into uh, into the month of August. Yeah. Difficult first month, but an especially difficult first day as well. Listen, we, we looked at the fixtures, uh, the first ten games of a day, and they're all difficult, home and away. Um, the amount of games in the first month, but it, it's relentless, and it's the same for every team. Um, we, we believe we're ready and we're prepared, so um, let's have a go. In terms of making it almost like an, an historic occasion, we know the support will be good throughout Agra um, all across next season, but how important is it that for the Woking game it's especially busy and, and full and noisy? Well, the, the first game of the season always brings that extra hype, doesn't it? The build-up from now till then is massive. Um, everyone wants to win the first game of the season and you're lying if you don't. Um, you want to get on the point, on the, on the board, early doors. Um, so yeah, we're at home. We, we need to use our stadium as a home advantage this year. Didn't quite do it last year at the start of the season. Um, so we're looking to build that energy going into three o'clock next Saturday. Is it predominantly excitement, a few nerves, a bit of everything? I'm going to be excited till um, 2.45 next, next Saturday when it becomes stressful. Um, you know, I, have to, I have to breed that um, enthusiasm and excitement into the players because this is what we're in the game for, those types of games. A good, good crowd, weather's got to be nice, good opposition, fantastic pitch. Uh, what's the nuts to enjoy?